Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahad Kakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Rukakwadash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth which is a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing his gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Aquats, who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yarayaya Sharala from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do a quick lesson. Hopefully, it's going to be edifying through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. Now, many of us, you know, we go through different situations. We go through various trials. You know, we go through different different punishments. Let's just put it like that. You know, some people, most of the Israelites, let's say in general, Israelites actually live a miserable life. You know, the majority of Israelites, and this is due to the courses in, um, in the book of Deuteronomy 28. So we actually signed a contract with the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and sealed it with blood and accepted the consequences that comes with that contract should in case we breach the contract. And that's found in the book of Exodus, um, is it 24 and 8 verse, if I'm not mistaken. But then, so, you know, the Most High... He has put these curses on us, you know, and these curses will be 100% lifted up when our Savior, Yahweh Shai, comes back, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. So, but one thing is, you know, you can pray to the Most High, Yahweh Shai, Shai, to ease in your burden. You can pray to the Most High, Yahweh Shai, Shai, to grant you a better job. You can pray to to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to, to grant you a better life, you know? All these things are not bad prayers, man. The scripture tells you, seek and you shall find, ask and it shall be given unto you, knock and it shall be opened, you know? So you really need to make your supplications to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai through prayers. And, you know, the elder apostle Raka always makes mention about prayers, how important prayers are, because this is the means in which we communicate with the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai through His Son, who is the Mediator Yahweh Shai. So, don't lose faith, which is fundamental, and stop praying. Your time is coming. As a matter of fact, the title of this lesson is going to be "Your Time Is Coming." You know, the Most High one day is going to remember you and easing your burden. And I'm doing this lesson out of a personal, out of a personal testimony. You know. Here in Italy, you know, been working many years and all that thing, you know. Always find myself in some crazy jobs, man, you know. You know the nature of Jake. Whenever you find yourself amongst Edomites, you know, in which I'm not saying um, the so-called white man is all Edomites. We have Israelites who is also looking like the so-called white man, you know. But we know that in this kingdom, Esau has the upper hand, the so-called white man. So whenever I go to different places to work, I always have problems with those people. You know, they, they, they use you. Uh, you're always catching all hells, man. You do the dirty, dirtiest of the, the nastiest jobs and all that thing, you know, without rest, without peace and all that thing. They're always over you. So I've been praying to the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai that I'm not even praying for anything that special because I know this kingdom is not our kingdom. This is the time for the wicked to rule. You know, but, you know, I started praying to the most, High. you know, learning more about the scriptures. And this is the beauty of understanding the scriptures and learning more about the scriptures. You know, learning more about the scripture tells you that once you come into this truth, you start calling on the true names. You know, you can beg the most High to help you to, 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 to ease in your burden, you know. So I started praying to the most High Yahweh Shem Shai to help me out, you know, to give me a better job where I'm not going to catch all these hells. You know, and I'm going to tell you, you know, the, this job that I'm actually working right now at the plantation, 
man, maybe I believe it's the best job I ever worked in Italy because it's a job which I don't have the bosses on me, you know, telling me fast and all that thing, you know, calling me different kinds of names and screaming at me and all that thing, you know. Now I'm doing a job in which, you know, I organize myself. I start when I want. I finish when I want, you know. And this is just a miracle from the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahu Shai. And this is the power of prayers, man, and faith. So don't give up. Your time is coming. Now I'm not saying this, that I found heaven and all that thing. Hey, to hell with the job, man. My major prayer is for the kingdom of heaven to come, you know. But what I'm trying to say is, you might be going through certain situations and all that thing. Remember to keep praying to the Most High Yahweh Hashem El Shai. It might seem like the Most High is not listening to your prayer, but be sure the Most High is actually listening to your prayer and is trying you. There is a date fix that the Most High is going to, you know, pick up your prayers and be like, hey, today we want to attend to this person. Now let's go to the scriptures. You know, I was at the plantation listening to the scriptures and when I got to this point, it actually caught my attention and, you know, it made an impact to my spirit and I said I was going to do a lesson on it. So this is the book of Acts. This is an example of an Israelite, you know, who's been praying to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. And in his own case, his own case was for, was for the truth, you know. He had a great zeal for the truth and, you know, been praying, doing the right thing he could do according to the, to the commandments, to the best of his abilities. And finally, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai picked up his call. This is the book of Acts chapter 10 from verse 1. It says, There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band. Now, you might listen to this, hear the Italian band and just run away and get crazy with it. No. We had Hebrew Israelites who were actually part of, um, of, the, uh, the, of the Roman military men. We had a huge number of Hebrew Israelites you know, who were soldiers for the Romans. A good example is Alexander Tiberius. He was the one who actually led the siege of, six, uh, of 70 AD, you know, by the, by, by the Emperor Titus, you know. The person that led that siege was a Hebrew Israelite by the name Alexander Tiberius, and this is history. So we had lots of Israelites who were in positions, you know, for this Edomite. Remember the book of um the book of um first Maccabees, the first chapter, I think, from the seventh verse all the way down, it tells you about wicked Israelites who decided to go be instruments in the hands of the wicked. Okay? Now going on, it says Cornelius was a devout man and one that feared Yahweh with all his house, which gave much harm to the people and prayed to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai always always prayer is the key man never give up on that prayer because one day the most high will pick up your call whatever you're going through man the most high knows everything he knows what you're going through he kept you in the situation where you are you know if you lift up your voice to the most high and beg him to have mercy on you and you have faith and you keep praying and you never you never relent on that prayer be sure that the Most High, whether you like it or not, is going to one day receive your prayers and, and have mercy on you, you know? So Cornelius never gave up on prayer. He prayed to the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Shai, always. And this is what the Most High did to him. And he saw in a vision, evidently, about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of Yahweh Hashem Shai coming into him and saying unto him, Cornelius, and when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? And he said, And he said unto him, Thy prayers and thine arms I are come up for a memorial before the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know? So if you keep praying, if you keep keeping these commandments to the best of your ability, being humble, hey, guess what? Your prayers are. And all your arms are going up to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai for a memorial. There is a time set for every one of us, just like the Word tells you. The Word tells you, 
keep following your dream, one day you become a star. One day you'd make it, you know? It's the same thing in the truth, man. Our dream is the kingdom of heaven, you know? So we're praying to the Most High every day. We follow, that's how we follow our dreams. Keeping the commandments to the best of our abilities. Praying and doing what we, what, what we know is right, you know? And believing that one day the Most High, Yahweh Shemi Shai, will pick our calls. Our prayer will get to him for a memorial and he's going to attend to our, to our needs, man, you know? So you can pray for the Most High to give you a better job. You can pray for the Most High if you're a sister looking for a husband. You can pray for the Most High, Yahweh Shemi Shai, to give you a good husband, man, you know? A brother is in the truth, you know? All these things, just don't give up. Keep doing them. The Most High will pick your call. It will pick your call. And when the Most High doesn't, you know, quickly um, respond to your prayer, is a test, man. It's checking you out, just like it checked um, Noah, um, sorry, um, Job out. Another good example is the book of Tobias that I was listening to it today. And this is the book of Tobit, chapter 3. I'll read from verse 16. So this is actually speaking also of a sister who was um the wife of um of of Tob Tobias, okay? I think her name was Sarah, you know. Let me see. Let me can. Her name is Sarah, you know. So you know she was she was dealing with some demons, you know, who whenever she gets married you know, the demon takes her husband in which, you know, I might do a lesson on that thing. You know, Yehaba Shimia Oshai Ratazai, if the spirit permits me, you know. So she was praying to the Most High fervently for this thing. And Tobit himself, you know, he was also praying to the Most High, Yehaba Shimia Oshai, Tobias, you know. These were faithful men. They never, they never, um, they never gave up on, on prayers. They kept praying to the Most High to help their situation. You know, he got blind and all that thing, you know, and all this was a test to him, you know, he kept praying, he never gave up on the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai, and guess what, the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai hearkened to his prayers, let's read these few verses and close the lesson, verse 16, it says, you know, chapter 3, verse 16, it says, so the prayers of them both were heard before the majesty of the great power, Yahweh Shemi Shai, and Raphael, was sent to heal them both that is to scale away the whiteness of tobit's eyes and to give sarah the daughter of a for a wife to tobias the son of tobit and to bind asmodeus the evil spirit because she belonged to tobias by right of inheritance the self same time came tobit home and entered into his house and sarah the daughter of a came down from her upper chamber but the point there is, so their prayers, the prayers of them both were heard before the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai. And he sent his angel to sort things out. So don't give up on prayer. Don't give up on the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai because the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai would never give up on you. As long as you're an Israelite, even no matter what you do, in the kingdom you come back to your senses. And that's just the Most High, you know, you know, hoping on you, man. You know, giving you chances upon chances. So don't give up on prayers. Keep praying and be sure, have faith that those prayers, will be, they are going to be received one day. As long as your prayers are in line with, with, with righteousness. Okay? So hopefully this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahawashai, Waharukakwadash. On to the next one. Shalom.